welcome to Craft Fine Homes Luxury Showcase. I'm Vicki Rogers. And I'm Karen Craft. And my hopes after watching this show is that if you're out there thinking about putting your home on the market, it's going to make it a little easier because I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. The other part is if you're looking to find your dream home, I'm going to make that process a little easier as well. So let's get started. Okay. Well, you know, Karen, you have sold more homes in Lake Forest than anybody. Last year, you sold 22 homes in our neighborhood and over $100 million in sales in just 10 years. You must have some secrets. It's called hard work. I love what I do. I handle my clients as personal friends and I get very involved in the sale of the home. I don't hand it off to a listing specialist. I don't hand it off to a buyer's agent. When you list with Karen Craft, you get me. And I know the knowledge, especially in Lake Forest. I live here in Lake Forest and they have 1800 homes here. So every street has a different value. Every section, you've got houses from 400,000 to 2 million. So you really have to know your neighborhoods. That's really important. Okay, if somebody is getting ready to list their home, what is the best way to get started? There is many, many, many things to consider when you're getting your home ready for sale. Probably the first thing is to call in an agent as myself, someone that is familiar with the area and the neighborhood or the price point. The price point is really important. I specialize in luxury. My average sale is about 700000 So I know how to price them. I know the strategies behind it. There's marketing involved. That's really important. The next step would be to get your home personally ready. The mechanics of it. Making sure that the things that are annoying you that hasn't worked over the years, it's going to annoy that new buyer. So you need to get it fixed. So you need to call in some people and some experts. And we actually have a list of vendors that we recommend. As a matter of fact, you're going to hear from one right now. Sounds great. Very professional, did an excellent job. Mike Hazel, wood restoration. He can take wood rot on a window without replacing the whole window, which makes it, it's a great advantage to a home seller. He can cut it, replace it with a type of material that never will rot again. And it's a lot less expensive than replacing the whole window. He does a great job, very professional, and Johnny on the spot because he knows the inspection time periods are very, very important. So next time you ever need wood rot, call Mike Hazel. Okay, you've got your house mechanically ready. You've got things all fixed up. You have contacted an agent. What is the next step? Probably the big question that I always get from clients when I go to list their home is, well, the house down the street sold for this much money. And I have more square footage than that, but we haven't been able to get anybody in the door. I would guarantee you that the house down the street has spent some money updating. Mm -hmm. They've called in a stager, they've called in a designer, such as Amy Wagner that we work with. They've put the latest, greatest colors. They've eliminated the pushback, which is what we call when you walk in the door and you see the burgundy walls or you see uh, green, the colors that are negative pushbacks in this market. So if you bring in a stager, you are going to get more value for your home. It is a proven fact. I've done it here in Lake Forest on two or three homes already this year. So let's talk to Amy Wagner and see one of her latest projects and what she's doing to get these homes ready. She's amazing. Let's take a look. Guess what I have in my hands, Karen? It's lighting day. <laughs> yes, we're back. We're here to change out the light fixtures that we had talked about. But, you know, when we go to stage a house, it's not always about the furniture to put in the house or to rearrange the furniture. It's also about updating lighting, paint colors. Everything needs to be on trend and move in ready. So we are pulling out the very pretty but very taste specific fixtures that they have in this home and we're going to be changing out ceiling fans, chandeliers, pendants. And I tell you, that's the one thing I know when I renovated my home. Changing a light fixture, even if you don't touch anything else in the room, it could completely change the whole feel and look of a room. And a perfect example are the lights that you're going to change out here in the kitchen. Yeah. The, they're orange, they're very contemporary, very modern. And the light fixtures that she's putting in still have a little bit of the modern flair, but they're not so contemporary. And it really changed the room. Yeah, and they're clear, so when you look at the space, especially in the online photos, mm -hmm. because that's your drive-by, 
you don't stop. Your eye doesn't stop at the light fixtures. You see the whole room and it shows off you know, the architectural features of the room. So we're going to be changing out ceiling fans, lighting, pendants. And I tell you, the one room too that I've noticed, there was a bedroom that we had a lot of very contemporary flair to. Mm -hmm. And we changed the bright colors and turned it into a little bit more uh, um, mass marketing love for the home. It'll draw, draw you in instead of push you away when you walk in. Amy is excellent at that. And the other area is the sitting area that you made. Yes. In the uh, great room as you walk in, it's so cute. I can just see Yay. sitting there having some <laughs> wine and cheese. And yeah. The, she added this gorgeous chandelier in the middle of the room, which really makes a focal point. It really does matter. It really does matter what the lighting does. It does. Lighting can, like you said, really change your room. Painting does amazing things. Lighting does amazing things. And then when we pull in, like you said, the seating area, it's going to be a conversation room, not a stuffy living room. Mm -hmm. People are not looking for that mm -hmm. in homes. Or they look at the space and they don't know what to do with the space. So it defines that room. And speaking that she knows her lighting, she won the lighting award at Home Arama 2019. Yes, we yes. were so excited about that. And I've got a little award that I found on the shelf. I don't know that you were going to talk about it, but <laughs> congratulations to Karen Kraft because she won the EXP Icon Award. Yes, so. it's, a, it's an award for a, a exceptional sales volume, contributing to the community, mentoring agents. And I was quite excited when I got this in the, in the, in the mail. It came to me in the mail that it was, it was quite exciting to become an icon agent and win the award. Yes, and congratulations. So, hire an award-winning team. If you need help with any of your staging or selling a home, just have a question, it's pennies on the dollar to pull us in for a consult and a walkthrough. Those are some really great, great tips from Amy, but you have some other tips too, right? Yeah, there's just a lot of little things. You can take and change the light fixtures in your home. And you can go online and buy these light fixtures. They're all over the internet. And you can go in there and change your room's look immediately. And it completely captures the attention of the buyer when they walk in the door. A can of paint, very, very cheaply done. And you can hire a painter, go in there and pick the latest, greatest colors. If you don't want to go to the full extent of doing a stager, Amy does what is called an occupied staging. She uses your furniture. She'll go around and take notes and move this chair here, eliminate this chair, and she'll also, for a small fee, go in and tell you what colors to put mm -hmm. in your rooms. You probably know a painter. If you know a painter, she can come in and tell you exactly what to do, and it cuts the cost a little bit. But if you have a huge home, you know, a, a 5,000, 8,000 square foot home, you might want to have Amy come in and actually do a complete staging on it. Or if your home is vacant, but it really is worth the dollar to spend to come in and get her expertise, I assure you. Okay, Karen, let's talk about the dreaded clutter. We all have it. How do we get rid of it? Where do we put all this stuff? What should we do? <laughs> <laughs> well, when Amy and myself, or just myself, come into a house and we're getting ready to list it, First thing I do is look around the room, and when I can do a 360 turn in a room and I cannot see a bare wall, we're going to have to move out some stuff. Clutter. And sometimes you just don't have any place to put it. But, and sometimes you don't even want it. So you're thinking, well, I don't, what am I going to do with this? We have got the answer for you, and I'm telling you, this is the best thing ever. It's called Clean Slate. And what they do for a fee, they come out and they will take your clutter away. And what's really great about it is they don't just throw it away. Mm -hmm. If it's usable, they have an agreement with Habitat for Humanities. They give it to the uh, healing place. Mm -hmm. They do a lot with your clutter that is good. So let's talk to Clean Slate and let them tell you what they can do with all your junk. <laughs> I am here with Aaron Bischoff, and he is the owner and operator of Clean Slate Junk Removal. I know you have junk around your house, in your basement, in your garage. You need to get rid of it. You need to make a clean slate. So let's find out about what Aaron can do for you. Tell everybody a little bit about what Clean Slate Junk Removal does. Yes, Vicki. Uh, clean Slate, we actually can haul anything away from your home or business, whether it be on the interior or exterior, furniture, appliances, household items. Uh, even exterior demolition like hot tubs, uh, even above ground pools, fences, decks, 
sheds, anything you need to get off of your property uh, to reclaim your space. Okay, and I know that you mentioned earlier that you pay a lot of money for your square footage of your living area. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, our philosophy with Clean Slate is reclaim your space. So basically my wife and I came up with that. Obviously we started this company uh, eight years ago in Louisville and uh, very proud. Uh, but basically that means you're paying a lot of dollars for your valuable square footage. So if it's being filled up with unnecessary items or items you don't use or uh, junk items, uh, then we want to get that out of the way so you can reclaim your space and reclaim that valuable square footage uh, again. And I love the fact that you also donate to charity. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, we work directly with Habitat Restore. So when we're on your property, we can also haul away anything that you would like to uh, donate to Habitat. We also work with several organizers, uh, estate auctioneers, and other uh, vendors that can help you with the whole process of transitioning or downsizing your home or business. Okay, and how can folks get a hold of you? Oh yes, it's easy. My number is 502-523-6919. You can call or text anytime. You will talk to me, the owner, directly so you don't get a call center or another person. So we are very uh, hands-on, family-owned business. We work with you directly. Uh, you can also find us on cleanslatejunkremoval.com. Okay, I know that you've got some stuff to get rid of. We talked about that. So make sure and call the highest rated junk removal company in Louisville, Clean Slate. Karen, you know so many secrets about marketing and selling your homes, but there's a cool thing called creating value. How do you do that? There's lots of ways to do that. Of course, you can add square footage. Updating your cabinetry, updating your countertops, adding hardwood, taking the carpet out. Um, in the lower level, vinyl plank is very, very popular, and it creates a want which will make someone buy your house over the house down the street which in turn makes short days on the market. So you will keep the value. You won't have to decrease your list price to try to get it sold because the house down the street is updated. But one of the best ways of doing it is automation. It is the way of the future. People love it with all the Alexas of the world. So what you need to do is call Automated Lifestyles, Phil Cheney. I've worked with him for years. He has the latest, greatest in technology. And really the thing that shocks people, it's not as expensive as you think. There is all different systems that you can put in. And you don't have to do it under new construction. You can do it with a house that's already built. Everything is so wireless nowadays. Phil Cheney can get the job done. Let's go talk to Phil. Hi, everyone. Well, now we're down into the lower level of this magnificent home where we are going to add over 1,500 square feet of magnificent living space, a bedroom, a bath, a theater, which is Phil Cheney of Automated Lifestyles is here to tell you all about his trials, the tribulations of trying to get this to work, and all of the goodies you're going to put in this house. Yeah, well, thanks, Karen. Um, we're pretty excited about this project. Um, the house has, has great structural features. Uh, this particular room presented a few challenges for us, some of the structural walls, foundation walls, things like that. So for us, it was a matter of trying to maximize space, drop our ceiling lines down so we get better sound absorption, uh, pick a speaker package and deal with some of the issues we've got specifically with, uh, with the screen wall, where we're going to house the equipment, uh, some things like that. And then we're also going to bring the entire house audio system back to life. That's in another area of the house that we can show you later be great for the incoming client and exciting. truly smart home. That's exciting. Also, uh, Phil has done an amazing thing with this home, but just so you listeners understand, you don't have to be in this stage to add what he's adding. There's a lot of ways to do it on an existing home that's already finished. Yeah, surprisingly, um, probably 50% of our residential business is retrofits and remodels. And so we can go into an existing structure without having to tear the whole place apart put in these systems pretty much seamlessly. Um, and if there is uh, an area where we have to do a little bit of uh, paint patch and mm -hmm. remodel, we've got a great crew here that you already know about yeah. that we're working with. So uh, it's, it's really a fun project and uh, we can do these systems pretty easily. Next time you see this, we're gonna be looking at some equipment in here. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Okay, so you've done everything. You've got an offer. You've got an accepted offer. Now, oh no, you have to move. People freak out, don't they? 
oh my gosh, it's amazing to me. And we go through inspections and everything, and then I call them and say, well, they want to close on this date. And they're like, well, well, I'm not ready. And I'm like, well, isn't that what you hired me to do is to sell your home? <laughs> but I can tell you one thing. There is a gentleman that can come to your door. You would think he is Superman with a cape. <laughs> I will call him up and say, look, these people are really panicking. They're not ready. Can you get them on the books to get moved? And it's Bob Arnold with Allied Burger Moving and Storage. He is a charm. He'll come to the door. He will get you on the books. He takes care of my clients all over the world. He's moved them to Hawaii. He's moved them overseas. He can move you from house to house in the neighborhood. And he really does an amazing job. I am here with Dustin. He is the general manager of Burger Allied Moving and Storage. Dustin, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and tell everybody a little bit about your excellent company. Okay, so Burger Transfers partner with Allied Van Lines and we specialize in the moving of household goods. Now we cover local, long distance, international moving as well as office and industrial relocation. We've got a 55,000 square foot building located off of Newburgh Road for storage. We offer long-term and short-term storage and we're a little unique in how we do that process because we um, will actually bring the storage vaults to residents, um, load them there, seal them there, bring them back to our warehouse and stack them in the warehouse. When we make a delivery, we actually bring the vaults out to residents and pop the doors and make that delivery as well. That way it, it minimizes the handling, which in return minimizes the claims. Okay, if you need to get moving, you need to make sure and call Burger Allied Moving and Storage Company. And they partnered with Craft Fine Homes, of course. So mention Craft Fine Homes when you call and they'll give you a special deal and special rates. Now let's hear from one of Karen's satisfied clients. So I'm at Karen. My husband and I were thinking about listing our house and we were looking to talk with an agent and find out what the process would be and, you know, what we might need to do to get the home ready to list. And not being from the Louisville area, I said, well, why don't we reach out to Karen Craft? Because I've seen her name a lot in our neighborhood. Um, I've seen a lot of her sale signs with her name on it. And I just thought that she knew our neighborhood and could give us, you know, some good ideas. So reached out to Karen and I was very surprised by how quickly she responded. I think she responded within a couple hours to my email and was over at our house the next day. We had an offer on our house in less than three weeks. We had a ton of traffic on the house. She had an open house with over, she said 50 people. So many people in fact that her husband had to come over and help sign people in. One offer on our house in less than three weeks. We were very, very pleased with the timeline. Karen knew the inventory so well, so we had an offer super quickly um, to sell our house, and then we decided, or realized, right, that we had to find a house to move into. I talked to Karen on the phone, and she just knew the inventory so well and knew exactly what we were looking for, and she said, I have the house for you. And we looked it up, and it was exactly what we were looking for. And my husband and I fell in love with it, our kids fell in love with it, and we made an offer, you know, within a week or so. Now we're gonna hear from one of our valued sponsors. I had no idea that you can choose your title company when you are getting ready to list your home. And Karen likes to work with Limestone Title. Tell everyone about that. Well, all the different realtors have their different closing companies that they like to use. And there's a rapport and they get to learn what you do and how you want it done and how you want your clients treated. At Limestone Title, Mike Weber and Lee Harris and Tra Trevor does a great job. And they're there for you. They will jump through hoops for you. And when you're getting ready to list your house, a lot of times you want to know what that bottom line is, what you can expect that's going to happen at that. And I can call them and I can get that information for you when you list your house with me. I can give you a little bit of a ballpark of what to figure you're going to see when you get to the closing table. Karen, ever since we started this show, people have been talking about you and your success. Why do you think that you are so successful? You know, I've been asked that before and it always comes down to honesty. I'm not about a quick sale. I'm not about just putting a sign in the yard. I'm about 
running the numbers and telling you the truth. Because if your house has been on the market for a long time, there's probably two good reasons. Number one, you didn't declutter and you didn't do the updating and you didn't get your house market ready. The other reason would be someone wasn't honest with you about the price. And that sometimes is not a real popular discussion, but I'm going to be honest with you. And are there times that I get to tell you your house is worth more money? You're actually going to hear from one of my clients that's going to tell you that. And they really didn't want to go to that price, but we did it and they listened to me and we sold it the first person that looked at it for a full price offer. That tells you I'm not the agent. I could have listed it for less, put it on the market, and not had the worry of whether or not I was wrong. But I had enough confidence in myself to know that it was right. And that's why I've been so successful. People know that I work hard. I answer my phone. When you're a client of mine, I answer it. Unless I'm asleep, <laughs> I'll answer my phone. And I'm at the showings, so... And the agents that work for me are at the showings, and they all, they don't work for me unless they have the same ethics that I do. Um, if they're at a house and you're selling the house, you have to sell the lifestyle in the neighborhood. You have mm -hmm. to know where that house is, what's around it, what are the schools, how is it going to affect what they do for a living, where they live, where they're going to drive to. All of that, when I'm there showing your house, I'm able to ask these questions and make that house even more perfect for that buyer. So it, it does, I think that makes a big difference. I think that's one of the reasons why I've been so successful. Mm -hmm. People trust me, people, um, I've been around this town all my life. People see me grow up um, and I've kept a good reputation. So, and I've put that to work in my real estate. Karen, we've been talking a lot about listing homes, but you work with buyers also, right? Honestly, it's one of my favorite things to do especially first time home buyers. They are so much fun to work with. But it's, it's a thrill to go in and out of all these nice homes and especially in the luxury field, it's really enjoyable. My husband doesn't like it at all because I always come home and want to change something. <laughs> but one of the first processes, if you're actually thinking of purchasing a home, you've got to get pre-qualified first. And I'll tell you why. There's chances you may be able to buy more home than you thought there's always that possibility you might be looking at a home that might be a little out of your price range. And it's better off to start looking at exactly what you can afford first. Because then when you're not disappointed, and you're also not disappointed when you find out you could have bought more. And I've got a guy that I have worked with ever since I was National Rookie of the Year back in 2009. His name is Ben Cecil. He's from Bardstown, Kentucky. He is a great guy. What you see is what you get. He's very honest and he works really hard. He answers his phone. He hand holds you through the entire process. He sends you emails regularly. He keeps me updated and that's really important. The realtor really needs to be in on that process because I'm the one that's got to set the dates and move you and figure out when that repair request has to be done, how quickly this process is gonna go. And if you use Ben Cecil, he can close a loan in as little as 10 days. He's very fast. He can get you pre-approved and through underwriting before you even find a house or write a contract. Right now, we're going to let you hear a little bit more about hometown lending and Ben Cecil. One of the first steps of the home buying process is being pre-approved for a mortgage. Ben Cecil of Hometown Lenders is committed to taking great care of people who are looking to buy or refinance a home. Ben has been in the mortgage industry since 2005. Originally from Bardstown, Kentucky, he now lives in Louisville with his wife and their two children. Ben has had the opportunity to help thousands of clients make home buying or refinancing an exceptional experience. Many in Louisville consider him to be one of the best in the business. Check out his reviews on Zillow or on his website at bencecil.com. Ben is always happy to meet clients in his office or wherever is convenient for the borrower to make the process as smooth and easy as possible. 
Hometown Lenders is a direct lender. This means they have their own in-house underwriters, in-house processors, and they fund their own loans. Ben currently has a 15-day application to close turnaround time. This ensures you can write that 15 to 30-day contract on a house and know you will close in your time frame, hassle-free. And now it's time for the Showcase Home of the Week. Updated with all the latest colors. Lake Forest Home on the 4th Fairway. Impressive two-story entry. Hardwood throughout most of the first floor. Huge great room that is open to the eat-in kitchen with an abundance of cabinets, center island, and planning desk. Banquet-sized dining room with detailed moldings. Fabulous luxury master suite with large bedroom area and extended sitting room overlooking the lake. The master suite opens to the great room. The luxury master bath has a whirlpool tub, separate shower, double vanity, and huge walk-in closet. Upstairs, there are four large bedrooms, all with bathroom access. The lower level features a gaming area, media center, wet bar, and theater room. Also on the lower level is the sixth bedroom and a full bath. Additional features include three-car garage, covered deck with fan, irrigation, and security systems. Home warranty included. This is an awesome home with lake and golf course views. I know you're going to want to find out more about Karen Craft. Karen, how can they get in touch with you? Well, there's many ways. You can go to KarenCraft.com. That's a great site to search for a home. And also, you can email me at Karen at KarenCraft.com, all case, <laughs> and I will send you this wonderful packet. It tells a little bit about myself. It has some information about our sponsors, Automated Lifestyles, Clean Slate, Amy Wagner, and vendors that we use. So it's a great little tool if you're just doing some handiwork around the house. You've probably got someone in here that you could use. And it also shows you some of the beautiful brochures mm -hmm. that I put in your home. I don't use just an MLS printout. These are actually the brochures that when someone comes to see your home, they're gonna take with them. It really is a great memory of your house. I'd love to hear from you. So give me a call at 502-727-1070. The number's on the screen. Or email me at karen at karencraft.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.